although the markets had an indecisive trading day today, doing doji type days, you can see the trajectory of the uh, the Dow. And what's more compelling about this fry pan bottom trajectory is the uptrend started with your best friend signal, a doji followed by a gap up. So the analysis of this is we're still in an uptrend as long as we stay above the T-line and the prospects of going higher are much greater based upon this whole setup. And the more compelling evidence of bullish sentiment is we can see there was a downtrending channel and they gapped it up on the NASDAQ to that channel and went higher with a doji sandwich. We know the breakout tells us there's a new dynamic in the market, number one. And number two, that new dynamic was reconfirmed by the fact that a doji sandwich implies there's going to be more upside. So more than likely, we're in wave one, wave two, now going into wave three. And we can pinpoint which sectors we want to be in specifically, such as we can see how gold has bottomed out. A few dojis, bullish engulfing, left-right combo, which is a very strong bullish signal, followed by more trading above the uh, T-line, making the next likely targets up here probably at least to the 50. If that's the case, and we know gold is trading stronger, more than likely gold stocks are going to be acting well. That also applies to silver. Our recommendation today on MAG, one of the silver mining companies, was that when it opened above the 50, after a best friend signal, that more than likely our trend is going to continue. Once again, knowing what's happening in individual commodities allows investors to also pinpoint which sectors to be in. Because candlestick analysis is the graphic depiction of what occurs in human nature. When we see patterns like a big fry pan bottom and or what we call a bobble breakout. Notice how when it failed at the 50, pulled back here to the T-line. The next time it came through, told us that they weren't resisting anymore. That we had a bobble breakout. That when it opened positive today, we didn't need further confirmation. The confirmation was we had the pattern. If it opened positive, that told us the bulls were still there. We wanted to be buying immediately. This allows investors to be in the right place at the right time with an inordinate uh, probability. So the basis of candlestick analysis is that human nature works the same way time after time. The graphics just show us the high probability breakouts or situations based upon human nature. That'll be it. We'll see you in the chat rooms.